welcome to a new video that is mcqs on virology and this is the part 13 of this series of videos on virology so the first question is among the following which is or are linear double stranded dna representative virus and the right answer and the options are herpes virus cytomegalovirus and adenovirus lambda fudge and epstein barr virus or all of the above and the right answer is option d it is all of the above so all of these viruses are double standard dna representative virus so the next question is among the following which is or are linear double standard dna representative virus so the options are most of the bacteriophages t coliphage and lambda fudge cytomegalovirus and adenovirus all of the above and the right answer is option d that is all of the above so all of these viruses are linear double standard representative virus okay so move on to the next question that is in which of the biological entity all four forms of genetic material has possibility and the options are plant viruses animal viruses bacterial viruses and all of the above and the right answer is option b that is animal viruses so animal virus that is a biological entity where all forms of genetic materials has possibility that means there can be single standard dna or double standard dna single standard rna or double standard rna all can be possible for animal viruses okay so move on to the next vero cell line is derived from human cyanovial cancer or sternal bone marrow or varvet monkey kidney or human epithelio epithelioma of larynx and the right answer is option c that is varvet monkey kidney so vero cell line is derived from varvet monkey kidney okay so move on to the next cytopathic effect that is cpe is de defined as process of destruction of intracellular virus or morphological changes in the cell line or morphological changes in the virus or cell division in the cell line and the right answer is option b that is morphological changes in the cell line okay so the next question is syncytia formation is seen with measles virus adenovirus enterovirus or rabies virus and the right one is option a that is measles virus so syncytia formation is seen in seen with measles virus okay so next one intracytoplasmic inclusion bodies are seen in infection by herpes virus influenza virus rabies virus adenovirus and the right answer is option c that is rabies virus so intracytoplasmic inclusion bodies are seen in infection by rabies virus so next one is virus production virus producing both intranuclear and intracytoplasmic inclusion bodies is herpes virus adenovirus rabies virus or measles virus and the right answer is option d that is measles virus so virus producing both intracellular sorry intranuclear and intracytoplasmic inclusion bodies is measles virus so next one is choreoallantoic membrane that is cam of m uh, embryonated egg is mainly used for the cultivation of rabies virus vaccinia virus measles virus or influenza virus and the right answer is option b that is vaccinia virus so vaccinia virus so for choreoallantoic membrane that is cam of embryonated egg is mainly used for the cultivation of vaccinia virus so next one is among the following which is or are cross link ends cross link ends double standard dna representative virus and the options are most of the bacteriophages T. coliphage and lambda fudge, cytomegalovirus and adenovirus, or vaccine and smallpox. And the right answer is option D. Vaccine and smallpox are <coughs> the viruses which cross link 
ends double stranded dna representative virus so next one is among the following which is or are circular double stranded dna representative virus options are cmv and pm2 fudge or option b sv40 option c papilloma virus option d all of the above and the right answer is option d this all of the above so all of these viruses are double stand circular double stranded virus next one among the following which is or are circular double stranded representative virus that is fd fudges sv40 m13 virus or most of the plant viruses and the right answer is option b that is sv40 so sv40 is a circular double stranded representative virus so next one among the following which is or are linear single stranded rna representative virus so options are pico rna virus toga virus most of the plant viruses or all of the above and the right answer is option d so all of the above are correct about the linear single stranded rna representative virus so next one among the following virus among the following which is or are linear single stranded rna representative virus so tmv m13 cmv or sorry uh, among this three so option is a that is tmv that is tobacco mosaic virus is a linear single stranded rna representative virus so move on to the next that is most of the plant viruses have their genome as single stranded rna single stranded dna double stranded dna or cannot be predicted and the right answer is option a that is single stranded rna so most of the plant viruses have their genome as single stranded rna so next one primary isolation of influenza virus in embryonated egg is carried out in cam or allantoic cavity or amniotic cavity or yolk sac and the right answer is option c that is amniotic cavity so primary isolation of influenza virus in embryonated egg is carried out in amniotic cavity so next one is total number of virus particles can be determined by direct planting sorry direct plating direct infectivity assay or quantitative electron microscopy or quantitative hemagglutination and the right one is option c that is quantitative electron microscopy so total number of virus particles can be determined by quantitative electron microscopy so next one a cell line with inoculated virus refractory to challenge with a second virus is a phenomenon called heme adsorption interference cytopathic effect or neutralization and the right answer is option b that is interference so this is known as interference where a cell line with inoculated virus refractory to challenge with a second virus okay so next one the most frequent mode of transmission of human is respiratory route vector transmission fecal oral transmission fecal oral tra transmission or traumatic transmission and the right answer is option a that is respiratory route so respiratory route is the most frequent mode of transmission of human so the last question of this video that is the least important mode of spread of viral disease is respiratory route, food and drink, vector transmission or traumatic transmission. And the right answer is option B that is food and drink is a least important mode of spread of virus disease. Okay, so these are all 20 questions of this video. So thank you for watching this video.